Okay, great evening. So we're going to do a flip through of the intuitive night goddess tarot. And um, these you can find on Etsy. You're not going to find them on the um, on Amazon. So here's the inside of the box. Very cool. Okay, has a small booklet in it. Um, does not have a picture of the card, but it does have a readout on the card. Okay. Now, the um, as we go through these, you'll see that they have different... And that's the other side of the box. They have different names than do the Rider weight decks. So if I can get this open now, get these out of here. Get the scissors so I can... Okay, there we go. Okay, these have a nice gold edging on them. Cardstock is nice on these. And they are, let's see, paired to the golden. Let me get this first one so we can see the comparison on the size. Um, I don't know why this is going dark. Let me see if I can see something here. Hmm, not seeing something, and I've tried to look. I don't know why it keeps going dark. I'm going to have to find out what the heck is going on with that, so it's going to drive me crazy. So they're just about the same size as these smaller type of tarot cards. Now, I haven't gone through all these, so um, let's look at them together and see what we have. The first one is potential. So instead of the fool, we have potential. And instead of a dog, we have a tiger. <laughs> the witch. The high priestess. Empress. Instead of the emperor, we have the monarch. So maybe there are no males in this deck. We'll see as we go through. The mystic. The wayfarer. So again, these have really, they're different than the rider weight. Freedom. Strength. Introspection, so instead of the hermit. Chance, that would be the wheel of fortune. Justice. Meditation. Death. 
I like the death card. It's interesting. Temperance. Reclamation. So instead of the devil, we have reclamation. So again, that's quite different. Revolution. The star. I think revolution would be the tower, maybe. The sun. And awakening. And last on these is the universe. So yeah, as you can see, they're quite different. I don't know how they're gonna work in readings for me, um, just regular readings, but we'll see. We'll see if they're gonna work or not. So we have Ace of Wands. These are the wands that we, I'm not gonna go through and do every one. You can see what they are. Read it at the bottom. So instead of page, we have nymph. Instead of knight, we have warrior. We have queen. And then instead of kings, we have spirit. My nose is itching. Now we go on to cups. This is a pretty deck. Um, very different. I like that card. That's so very pretty. The rainbow.
now we go into swords. Okay, and pentacles. It's interesting, we have Lakshmi. I don't think this would be a great deck for somebody just starting out. Um, for a lot of these, um, you don't really kind of have a clue uh, with what they would represent. Um, yeah, but it is a pretty deck. Very pretty. I do like the artwork in it. Um, so because of the because of the gold edging and stuff, it makes it kind of a thick deck to work with. So let's see how it's going to be for shuffling. Okay, shuffling's a little difficult because they're a little stiff. This type of card is a little stiffer. While I do like that gold edging, sometimes it, they, they make the cards a little stiffer. It's getting better. So the more I shuffle it, the better it's getting. So it's okay for shuffling. At least they're not sticking or anything. So there you have it. This is, again, the Intuitive Night Goddess deck. If you're really into the feminine, um, then this might be a nice deck. Um, for generalized readings, I'm not so sure. I'm going to have to see. Because I do a lot, mostly I do a lot of political, so how that's going to work with that, I don't know. But maybe for more 
uh, private readings for people. It might be a little more um, in alignment, but we'll see. this here. I'm going to get back to my readings. So thanks for tuning in. Love and light. Don't forget to mask up. Stay safe out there and I'll see you online.